until this part and uh, she just fell at this very rich she moved her. Here's what Yanya thought after her semi-final before he worked her in the final. <laughs> My form, yeah, it's not like I wanted. Um, I trained lead maybe two weeks before the European Championship, but yeah, it's getting better. <laughs> Well, the semi-final routes were really awesome to climb, um, really good hold, some good rest, but you know, you had to climb fast because of the limited time. So yeah, it was really cool, the conditions were not the best, especially for the last 10 climbers, I think. So yeah, I slipped at the, at the, near the top, So, but I'm happy with my performance. Yeah, well, it all depends on the style of the style of the route. So yeah, we will see. Hopefully, of course, I will enjoy. But yeah, I really want to win. But yeah, we will see. And Yanyu is out now. As I mentioned, if she ties with Anna Grahoven, who we saw falling from very close to the top of the route, it will come down to time on the final route because it, they are tied in all of the rounds so far here in Vila. That will only apply if they're in the podium position. So, yeah, we saw. We were actually chatting to Mina Markovic at the time. Slightly bad timing, owing to the uh, technical issues we had a bit earlier with Mina. But Anak fell from the large green volume on the huge pink triangular volume, which is at the top of this VLA wall. Yeah, this move where Anak fell was uh, looked like a really risky move. Uh, you really have to, to take a risk and go as far as you can in order to grab this uh, this sloper. Uh, and I didn't go far enough, I think. Oh, and Yanya is having a great heal. Uh, really strange. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe that. It's kind of a, um, a drop knee heel hook. Exactly. <laughs> I would say it. I would call it like that. <laughs> Yanya yeah, yeah, has a really, really great shape uh, uh, regarding bouldering. Like she said, she has only been training for two weeks because she decided to do the the bouldering season. But although she only trained for two weeks, she's already super strong. And uh, I think the movements will seem pretty easy for her. Now uh, we'll see if she has uh, enough endurance to do them all together. For the moment she looks really alright. Keep an eye on the top of your screen, the results coming up now. Mina Markovic leading the way, 42 plus. She touched that top hole. Couldn't hang it. Never really got a on top of it, never looked like hanging it, but touched it and then had a spectacular flight through the air in front of the, through the Vilar night. And, and Yenya is now getting to the harder sequence. Once she will have this anakling, it really starts to get really hard with the next bad sloper there. She's got 2 minutes 20 seconds now. Yanya. Come on Yanya. This is the crack sequence. It's such a physical move. This out to the right. Trip number 1. Yeah. She's still on the wall. No, no good solution for where to clip there. And now this is the reach she moves. Oh, and she's doing it statically. She is doing it statically. Yanya Gambra, she just reached for it. It's amazing. Okay, and now it's the mental. I think the, the fact she's been bouldering a lot will probably help her. She's just shaking out. One minute 30 on the clock, won't need to worry about time. She can really figure this out. The problem is, how much are you really recovering on that hold? Exactly. Well, quite a lot it would seem if you had your gun, Brett. Come on, Yanya. You've been doing bouldering, you know how to do this. You can do it. 
Are we about to see a top in this women's route? The Vilar crowd come, come to life again. Push on the legs. Nice. She's in a standing position. Now she just needs to figure out how to launch for this jump. She's taking um, some rope creeper. Like Mina Markovic, making sure she's got enough slack. The last thing she wants is to be pulled down by the rope. Now she can get a good rest and she's got 45 seconds on the clock. She's got an opportunity for a pretty good rest here. Both hands are off the wall. And now let's see the jump. Come on, Yenya. So she'll go. She's going for the right foot hold. Right foot. Right, foot. Yeah. right hip in. Come on, come on. Yanya Garmbrecht, winner in Vilar 2016. And she grabs it. Nice. Tops in Vilar 2017. Amazing effort from Yanya Garmbrecht. And she's in time, 17 seconds left. Amazing. Is there anything left for this woman to achieve in climbing, even at 18 years old? Just extraordinary. The final looks um, more easy than the semi-final. And Yanya topped the semi-final, so I'm pretty sure she could up this one as well. And Yanya's one of those athletes who's just so confident. We talked to her early on in the year. She just says, you know, she really doesn't seem to, to mind the nurse. She just wants to focus on the route, just wants to enjoy climbing the route. Just really just not too panicked about it. But this is going to be a real test of her mental psychology, psychology now. Yan That's true, but yeah. she already um, showed that she's really, really good and... Um, with the, her nerves already last year at the World Championships in Paris. Yeah, I was just going to say exactly that. The, the World Championships in Paris just had no issues at all in, in front of 9,000 people in the audience, hundreds of thousands of people watching online. She just had no issues, took it all in a stride and took away a fine win and that's potentially what she can do here with a top. So you can have a look then. Jan Kim currently sitting in first position with a top. Annick Verhoeven also a top. Two tops so far in the final and it's Norwegian sitting in third. Incredible result for her, really. She was so happy in the interview with Jessie Pills. Then that hesitation we saw the last climb around, she could have potentially topped, but ended up with 37 down in fourth. So, Jan Yagambre then. This is it. All to play for, all to win. Can we see another top from Yanya and take this Chamonix final out in style? I'll see the predictions from the start of the competition, even from qualifiers, it was all about Yanya, but that does not mean that she cannot fall. We've seen climbers slip throughout the weekend in, in all sorts of different sections. Her partner, Domin Skofic, falling early in the semi-finals, so it's definitely possible to fall off on these holes. Definitely. I'm never sure. So Yanya, no issues so far. Just takes a glance back at the clock. So much time still on the board. Great pace up to this point. Great drop lead there from Yanya. Just such great technique, such composure. Just 18 years old and just incredible style of climbing. Yeah, she's incredible. And she always clips so confident and. Just the way she sort of swings her arms around between the holes. She's just bouncing between the sections. Just like you say, such confidence. So three minutes 50 left then for Yann Yagambre to win here in Chamonix or to fall and leave it all in Yann Kin's hands. Here she goes in, one of the first hard moves. No issues for Yann so far. Into the sort of three triangular volumes. Good moves coming up. It's all about the feet through this next show. Feet first, and interesting there, she didn't even go to the higher footholds. Used her height advantage to go straight down low, straight into a straight arms rest. Yanya looking super solid here. Yeah, she looks really, really solid. I think if somebody would try to pull her down off the wall right now, nobody could do that. So here comes <laughs> Yanya's theme tune has gone on the PA here. She's unbelievable. Let's see if she's unbelievable tonight. Come on, Yanya. I told you the sound the song would come on. <laughs> so Yanya Gambo with loads of time still in the bank. Loads of energy still in the bank. Surely just looking so relaxed in her usual Yanya style. I think this is only about her head and the nerves now because she 
definitely knows that she can top this one because she's in really good shape and she's just climbing really well. But yeah, she just knows that she has to like doesn't that like her foot shouldn't slip and she doesn't have to hesitate and yeah. So we saw Jesse Pill start to struggle on this section, but it seems to be no such issues so far. Jesse Pills was a little bit higher than this, but Yanya Garnbury, can she handle the pressure now? I think this move now, this cross move, is the hardest part. If she gets this move done, she's in for a chance of the win. Come on, Yanya. Slight hesitation, taking her time. No such mistakes as Jesse Pills in. No problem Yanya there. Yanya Garnbury on to the last couple of moves for the win here in Chamonix. I'm pretty sure she does it now. Come on, Yanya. I, I don't know why, what should stop her now. I mean Yanya for the win then. Here we go. The last move. Drops the head down. Has a look. Yanya Garbre, the winner. Chamonix 2017 with ease. Yanya At the Garbre. third top of the final route. The podium is three tops, three climbers. Crazy. Uh, Anak Verhoeven takes the bronze. Yan Kim drops down to second. And Yanya Garbre takes the gold in fine fashion. And once again, a really interesting finals here in Chamonix. So Yanni has actually come out with sort of shoe covers on, making sure that the boots are 100% dry before she starts this route. And you can see they're just drying off the shoes, making no mistake here for Yanya Garnbrett. Can we see a top then, the perfect final route? Yanya is definitely an athlete who can do that. We've seen it before. Yanya Garnbrett, the only climber to top a route. Semi-finals back in Chamonix. World Championships back in Paris. Yanya Garbrey, surely she can do this. You can see there, nice new graphic. Anak Verhoeven's high point versus Jane Kim. They weren't far apart in terms of distance, only two moves in. It was actually a 36 plus and a 38 plus for both. Actually, the plus indicates uh, movement past the previous hold. Uh, that's the, uh, effectively halfway between one hold and the next hold. Gives you the plus. So Yanya's out. The crowd not quite sure what to make of it so far. Just for the first time this evening, silence in Briançon as the MC tries to get them fired up again. It's, it's something very captivating about watching and Yanya Garnbrecht climb. And everyone seems in raptures right now. She's still low down on the route though, a long way to go. And as we keep an eye on Yanya, we've got Anak alongside us. Anak, you said you wanted harder routes in lead finals. Did you get one? Yeah, it's nice that this was a pumpy route, yeah. And yeah. At the end, just talk us through those last few moves. We could see that your elbows are just beginning to yeah. come out. You were getting tired. What was it like that last few moves? Well, the moves are okay, actually, but um, I think I shouldn't have clipped a quick draw. So the, yeah, you mean the what? The, the last quick draw the you clipped? Yes, I clipped. Yeah. You so, think you should have climbed past yes. it? Yes. And w yeah. where should you have clipped it from? Well, maybe from the next one or the one after. At least I would have. Yeah, now I don't have these holds, so uh, sometimes it's better to climb past the quick drive even though you can't clip it anymore. So uh, <laughs> I regret it a bit, but I'm happy with the rest of my climbing, though. <laughs> Overall, happy with your performance, only enjoyed the route? Yes, yes, it was okay. It was a little bit slippery. You could feel that it's humid here, it's raining right now, so that wasn't perfect, but it's the same for everyone, of course, but you had to be careful while climbing. And this move here that we can see Yanya on, we're just watching our screen by the way, which is right underneath our camera. This move we can see Yanya on, we've seen a lot of the women fall here. Okay. This particular move up to the uh, the large green volume, this looks like it's one of the real cruxes, but you made it look pretty easy. The holds are okay, but there are no footholds, like okay. you see here. <laughs> yeah. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> yes. So. Okay, well we'll let you get on with watching Yanya. <laughs> But I'm glad you, you got the challenge you were looking for and it was awesome to watch yes. such a good fight. So thank you. Congratulations and thank you for talking to thank us. Thank you very much. So it's all lies in the arena in Brionson. Pretty much the entire town is out here. Can we see a top from Yanya Garnbrett? Can she take on Anek Verhoeven? Can we see the one and only top of this route? Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a tough one actually for Anak because she's 
giving a live interview but basically desperately trying to watch what Yanya does but appreciate her time as with all the athletes and actually as we were chatting to Anna Yanya showed a very rare sign of almost a loss of composure the feet came off but instead of panicking she basically just cranked out a one armor and did the crux move yeah the way that she just smashed through that section was quite unbelievable to be honest um, and she is an unbelievable athlete as she heads into this top third then plenty of time on the clock Yanya Garbre way 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 ahead in terms of time and as we've had in all the three of the last World Cups including this one she's unbelievable comes on the DJ's been following us around from Vilar and Chamonix and he's not wrong she's fighting now though fatigue beginning to kick in just a bit messy with the feet just needs to regain a composure this, this, is, where is, this is where Jane Kim fell so Anak was saying she regretted clipping now. What will Yanya do? I think she might clip as well. No, she won't. I think she's going to line up another move. Oh, I can really see she's in a slight bit of trouble here. Hits the right hand. That's nicely done. Yanya Garbeck oh. crosses through and takes a big fall. Yanya Garbeck lowers off. And that will be the win for her. That woman there, Yanya Garbeck, comes out last, climbs last pressure is on she doesn't seem to feel it she's a woman you know well Sasha yes she fights with pressure really good she's just has an unbeatable psych really it's uh, it's amazing to see how she functions how her body functions how she recovers from round to round you can see that she never gets tired and then I mean mistakes on the minimum but that's just her I guess <laughs> Yeah, she's fantastic. So relaxed about the whole thing. I saw her in Arco about three hours ago. Just another person queuing up for an espresso and <laughs> relaxing in town. You wouldn't have thought there was a fourth World Cup win in a row on the line two hours later. Relaxed as could be with her Slovenian teammates. Seems yeah. to always be the way. That's her recipe. Just be relaxed and enjoy it, like she says. I think the pressure's so, on here. Sorry, Charles. I was going to say the pressure's really on here from Yanya. She's going to have known that there's not been that much cheering from the crowd. She's going to have known that this route has been fallen off quite early on. So she's going to know she can decipher from that. that it's super, super hard. And we see Anak Verhoeven's just walked past us, not looking too pleased with her performance, unfortunately. Well, maybe we'll try and catch a word with her. We shall see. It's Yanya Garbet fighting now for a potential win. She's got Jane Kim to beat, who takes a, at least a silver medal here in Arco. Can we see another strike? World Cup wins from Yanya. Yanya, no mistakes up to this point. We would expect nothing left. Only a minute 30 used up at this pace. Time unlikely to be an issue. We've already seen Jane Kim timed out. And Sophie Collo had about 40 seconds left when she finished her attempt. But Yanya setting a good pace. Yeah, and trainings you also have to deal with climbing a bit faster, so you just have to be trained to do it. And I think Yanya is doing that really well because she now knows how to separate her time. Even though in Campitello and European Championships, he, she uh, hesitated a bit, a, a bit and chalked up really a lot, so she lost uh, a lot of time. But yeah, we learn from our mistakes, so she does too. <laughs> she doesn't make many mistakes twice. No. That's true. <laughs> well, one of the problems with leading is that if you make a mistake once, that's the end of your round. Yeah, that's why I like bouldering. <laughs> you can correct your mistake, apparently. Well, of course, Yanya, no slouch in the bouldering. Three lead World Cup wins and three Boulder World Cup wins already in 2017. She does continue to rewrite the history books. And as yet, she is cruising on this women's final route here in Arco. Just over half her time left should be enough time to top the route the pace has slowed slightly over the past minutes or so did have a couple of looks at the right hand method there decided it wasn't the one and that's probably a good thing she ends up going with the right sequence or the sequence that we've seen work to this stage and you Garbrett then into the second half of the route really good timing so far climbing with great pace she won Villars she won Chamonix she won Brionson can she win again here in Arco Remember, of course, this was the first place she was beaten in the 2016 Lead World Cups. Oh, yeah. Anak took the win. Anak won't win today. Yanya still has the chance to. She's got the revenge. <laughs> two minutes 30. The crowd getting pumped up. Venue MC giving it everything.
she also loves the crowd. I mean, who doesn't? But when you get so much support, it's just another plus. Let's see now, this seems so easy for her. Will she do the, yeah, toe hook just on the right spot. She knows that she can't lose this one. I don't think heel hook is a better, yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. She bumped the hand out of the way straight away, dropped the heel in. It works really well for this move, but it will mean a big cut loose on the next move unless she can find the method that Jane Kim employed. Yeah, she has to stop the swing before going on. But I think she's also strong enough to do what Anne Sophie did. Oh! oh God. Yanya Garbrecht falls. That is not often we say that. The head is in the hands. Yanya Garbrecht will not win here today. It's Anne Sophie Collar in second place. And Jane Kim takes wow. the win. An extremely good result. And Yanya Garbrecht is absolutely devastated. Yanya Garbrecht starts her campaign then. So many successes for her. Jesse Pills, and it is 42 plus. Jane Kim dropped into second place with that incredible burn 41 plus and it's Ashima who's currently sitting there in the bronze position with a 41 Yanni Garnbrit here has it to win here yeah Ashima could claim her first senior IFSC medal will if things stay as they are but it's a very familiar scenario Yanni Garnbrit walking out last in the lead final with all the pressure on and she genuinely generally seems to deal with it extremely well yeah, there's been a few really interesting interviews with Yanya recently in the wider, wider climbing media. Just the way that she can come out time and time again and just deal with the stress of coming out last and come out and win the competition. Stefan Gasolfi, he was in this position, com coming out to attempt to win, coming out last. This is a position he was in in Chamonix. Didn't work out quite so well for him there. Now he's seventh there, third in Brianz on the week after and uh, a disappointing 18th in his home World Cup of Arco. As I said, one in Xiamen last year. We'll be back there in three weeks' time. Yanya yeah, Garnbert having a look at this first kind of real resistance move out to the left-hand side. Hopefully there'll be no issues. Oh, big swing. Ends up oh. catching it as a double catch. That was a oh, heart in your mouth moment there. Kai's nearly fallen off his chair next to us. That was the sound of Kai Leitner tailing. <laughs> that was tight. That was that close. That was a he terrifying went, move. Oh. Yeah, it went full commitment from Yanya Garnbert. Certainly... Uh, if the nerves are affecting it, certainly not showing it. That was absolutely full bore climbing. So Stefano Gasolfi, is he heading for another win here? He's got two minutes left. I think time could again for him become an issue. And with two minutes left, a lot of moves, a lot of physical moves. We just need to stabilize and after each move. You can't just rattle through these. You need to stop and slow down and reassess. So we'll keep an eye on his time. He's currently got one minute 40 left on the clock. 350 for Yanya. Final climbers out there and a good show so far. Unfortunately, the time has been a bit of a factor in the women's competition. But Romain de Grange put in an incredible burn when he came out quite early on in the finals. Yet to be beaten. He was only three moves off the top of the wall. Stefan Gasolfi taking an opportunity to chalk up and shake out but with only one minute left he's obviously feeling the burn a little bit here that's what we heard from Dominic Scoffitt his whole body was just getting wrecked going through those volumes and just he just needs to take some recovery here he obviously knows it's short time at the same time he's knows he's short power left in the body this is going to be crucial now this is for podiums yeah really getting into the business of this Stefano Gasolfi oh. he's got 50 nice. seconds left could be time now if he's not too careful, but I think he can reach and surpass Roman de Grunter's high point within time. However, it is going to be close. Two Crosses moves. through with his right hand. Yeah, two moves short of where Jakob Schubert currently sits in the silver medal, and he's off. Big, big fight there. We'll see where that ends up. It could be 42 rather than the 42 plus. It's probably not going to be enough for a podium. So the final climber of this competition, and every single pair of eyes in the building here in Repo is on Yanni Garnbrit once again. So that is the men's competition decided. Roman de Grange wins again. Third World Cup win of the season. The man's on fire. He's been sitting in that winner's chair for, it's felt like quite a long time. He actually uh, climbed fourth. He's watched four climbers come and go and nobody has matched or beaten his high point. Roman de Grange will win here in Edinburgh. Extraordinary performance. Meanwhile, Jan Yagambre, all eyes on her. The spotlight is on her. Two minutes to go.
Yeah, Nyagamba then up to move 32, 49 to go, uh, 49 moves in total, 49 to go, not sure about that. And that'll be a very, very long route. And Nyagamba then looking to take away the win, looking okay on time, not not great but not too bad. One minute 30 just over left and manufacturing a very decent rest here. Yanni Garbrett could be on, she's got to be on for a podium here at least surely. Can she knock Jessie Pills off the top? She absolutely smashed the women's semi-final route which no one else really ventured onto the upper section of and she's looking in control here but it is so physical around this black volume, it's so pumpy. Dominic Skoffitz has just said his body was pumped on the men's route. The women's route, not dissimilar. You're hugging these big black volumes and they're covered in tiny bolt-on holes. You've got to read it correctly and execute it correctly. Yeah, she just look at her time. She knows she has only a minute left. Interesting enough, chooses to rest for a tiny bit longer as well. Yanya feel, clearly feels like she needs a bit more power in the arms before she commits onto this section. Yanya yeah, Garmut then uses the left hand, goes back, has a refit, and then makes a big move out onto the left. Now she's on board this section of volumes. Super steep, and this is what it's going to take now to get through, take away the win. Can Yan Yugamba do it? She really needs to shift now. She's only got 25 seconds left on the clock. She's chalking up. She doesn't really have time for any of this. She's got to keep moving. The Just crowd getting right behind her. They're going absolutely crazy. She gets the heel hook. She needs to set herself. She hasn't got ah. time to rest like this. This is going One. to be so tight. The ah. crowd are yelling at her. I don't ah. think she realizes. She's out of time, Yanya Garnbrecht. Oh, this is going to be so tight. The judges are going to have ah. their work cut out here. I'm pretty sure that's her time up. Yanya is going to be timed out. The time is up. Where was she when the time went? Time is up. Yan is still fighting and falls through the air in front of this Edinburgh crowd. But where was she when the time ran out? Just looking at the scores now and so, so close. Hold 42 was the left one on the second of those black volumes. I'm really sorry for Anak. She's one of the nicest, the most humble person you'll ever meet, meet at the World Cups. And, and so incredibly strong that um, not making podium is always a bit frustrating for her. I had the honor to climb uh, on rock with Anak one day this year and she burned me off on an 80 plus route. She's so incredibly strong that really changed my view of women climb, World Cup climbing. I'm, I'm sure many men would struggle on the finals route and I'm sure the strongest women could do really well on the men's routes as well. Maybe not win the World Cup, but like Janja beat me in training so often, even in bouldering. Like, then I wouldn't be surprised if she actually made finals at the men's final uh, at the men's World Cup. Well, it's interesting. We were actually having this discussion over a beer last night. What would happen if you let Anak, Jane, and Yanya loose on the men's final route? Mm -hmm. it, it's it's an open question. But it would it would be interesting. They're at that level. Well, I think height definitely plays a key role. So I think for Yain it might be even harder than for Yanya. Um, but I'd, l I'd just love to see it. You never know. There might be some competition organizer out there thinking about a mixed comp. You never know. Be interesting to see. I'm definitely not going to enter this comp if Yanya is invited. <laughs> She's been something of a, a phenomenon. She actually, um, you might have noticed earlier on she was limping slightly in the semi-final and I spoke to her afterwards and she actually banged her heel quite badly bruised it slightly um, just walking around the other day nothing dramatic and she was having a bit of pain from it but she said it doesn't hurt when she's climbing it doesn't affect her but if you see her walking she might have a slight limb she just, just whacked her heel it's that heel there so it's obviously not causing too many problems in control as you'd expect at this stage she'll be well aware I'm sure as you say she had to grab her rock boots quickly and it probably fell lower than expected yeah and you're in control in the overall standings but uh, you can't actually clinch it today after Jane Kim's performance because Jane is guaranteed to be well, at least second a podium from Jane or Anak would have kept kept it going 
So Yanya can't take the overall title today, but you'd have to say she's in a pretty strong position to do so next week in Shiamen. We shall see. Relying on a good performance here, she doesn't have many bad performances. We have to keep an eye on the clock as she has to top the route or fall on the last move in order to come away with a victory. But she looks all right with three minutes left. Cross one two weeks ago in uh, Edinburgh. Extraordinary finish. She was climbing, she got timed out while she was climbing and the judges had to go back and see where she was when she was timed out. It was an amazing finish. She got a bit lucky two weeks ago. She rested for so long, although she must have known that the time's running out and then she just made the, the last, hold she, uh, last move she needed to win. As that oh. move, we saw quite a few climbers fall on, including Akia Noguchi earlier on. Doesn't trouble Yanya too much. Yeah, it was interesting in Edinburgh. Everyone was shouting at her to keep moving. And I don't think she realised what they were shouting. Probably the Scottish accent. And, uh, yeah, slowed right down. So she's into the pink volume and up onto the round pink balls. So she'll guaranteed at least second oh, she used the heel hook on the big pink volume making the, the move look much easier compared to Jain even having quite a bit of a rest as you said time could have been a factor actually she, uh, but she flew through that steep section and now she chooses to take another rest I've no doubt she's aware how much time's left 1.30 and not that many moves to do Are we about to see a top? It would be a clean sweep for Yanya Gambre of all the quali both the qualifying routes and the semi-final route and the final if she can do it. Jane Kim will be watching anxiously. Can she claim a second World Cup win of the year? She's done all she can do. It's up to Yanya Gambre. So often is. Looks a bit more relaxed than Jain. So Yanya Garnbrett, 50 seconds to go. Swings her feet out right, gets it first time. Levers her body onto that right foot. She's got plenty of time here, 40 seconds to figure out these final couple of moves. The top hole is just out of the shot. There it is. No, she has 30 minutes to get a plus from the second to last hold. Hopefully, hopefully she doesn't time out while resting. Don't make that mistake again, Yen. You're 20 seconds to go. Needs to go for this, actually. Lines it up. Yanya Garnbrett for the top. You'd expect nothing less. Top both qualifying routes. Top the semi-final route. Tops the final route. Claims another win. Is there anything she can't do? Clipping the chains just in time. <laughs> yeah, remember, you got to clip the chains for it to, uh, to be a top. She got it done. So, this is a familiar position now, isn't it? Yanya Garmret, last out in a final, high pressure. All to do, needs to not only top the route, but do so quickly if she wants to win to her, add to her extraordinary season. Just to bring you a few uh, statistics, I was sent some really good uh, stats about how good this season has been for Yanya Garmret. She's uh, already got the highest combined point score. Remember, of course, that you get. There's also the combined ranking as well as the overall lead World Cups, Boulder World Cups, and Speed World Cups. There's also the overall across all three disciplines. Yanya broke the record for points in the overall in Arco. So since then, we've had Edinburgh and Wujiang, both of which she won, and she's just pushing the record out further and further. She's now on 1,035 points. She's won eight World Cups so far, five of the six lead World Cups, and three of the bouldering. It's an absolutely extraordinary season. The highest combined score ever, and there's still two World Cups to decide it. She broke the record with four World Cups remaining. Super impressive. I remember when she stepped onto the scene, and I think first World Cup she came into, she was second and she just doesn't look like she plans on slowing down at all. She seems as motivated as ever. I, I had a 
good chat with her actually when the women's semi-final was uh, cancelled and she looked really down in the dump she's normally pretty light-hearted and she actually looked really fed up with the whole situation it's not a mood i've seen her in many times at a world cup so if it affects her climbing we shall see generally just seems impervious to anything affecting her climbing but uh, yeah she, she seemed pretty fed up really with having to warm up twice for a semi-final that never happened can she switch her mind off with heard in interviews with her where she said that when she comes out to climb her mind is empty can she still achieve that when she's had 24 hours of thinking she might climb and not climbing and being messed about we shall see no problems as yet as you might expect I think that's the thing that's consistent with pretty much all of us here at the World Cups is that we just we love climbing and that's why we're here and when uh, you're consistently told no sorry no climbing for you then um and that can be really hard to get around, especially when you come all the way to China. But here she is, she's on the wall now, so maybe she'll be a little bit happier. Yeah, she, she was okay. She just seemed like she was a yeah. bit hacked off. So as I say, it means 24 hours ago, more, 27 hours ago, she was supposed to be in the semifinals, and she's been kind of in that cycle of when to warm up, when to rest ever since but it's exhausting it's an it's exhausting, exhausting process getting ready and being in a competition the competition isn't just a you know it's not just on the wall it's in the warm-up area it's between rounds it's um, just getting ready for the competition takes so much mental and emotional energy and to, to extend the toughest periods um, can be yeah just full on She's looking in control up into the list stage, Yanya Gamera. I was really enjoying getting geeky with the statistics, so I'll give you a couple more. Before she amend, she'd entered 25 senior IFSC World Cups or World Championships. She'd won 13 of them, and she'd only failed to be on the podium four times out of 25. Whoa. She is a phenomenon. The hard shoulder move out to the right, no problem. Anna Verhoeven will be watching this with her heart in her mouth because Yanni Gamera currently has about a 50-second advantage on her if it comes to that she goes out right and drops it Yanni Garnbrett drops that move out to the right Anna Verhoeven will win here Campbell Harrison's jaw you might have heard the sound of a thunk <laughs> that was his jaw hitting the floor Yanni Garnbrett will not win here in Shiamen Yanni Garnbrett has entered the room it didn't take long to take another look at the route. She just went in. Yanya's definitely been climbing well this weekend. Yeah. She always does. <laughs> <laughs> she always does, yeah. I mean, without doubt. I just wonder, how is it physically and biologically and whatever science you want to include in this possible, she just goes through all the comps with such good performance. So I've just been joined by Jain Kim. <laughs> Goes for a quick, a quick hug with Stasha. Come in here, Jain. Congratulations. Thank you. That was amazing. Uh, Currently on the leaderboard, yeah? Yeah, I cannot believe because the World Cup run is always, always difficult for me. So. Uh, during the observation time, I really didn't know how can I go to the route, but uh, even though the crown is always difficult for me, this time I thought uh, just let's, let's do this and yes, I, climb, I have climbed really, really concentrated. And even though I couldn't get to the top, I really satisfy about my performance. And, and you set a really good level there, so awesome, awesome effort, well done. <laughs> I think uh, we should probably concentrate on, on Yanya <laughs> yeah. and um, we'll see what happens. Okay. But whatever happens, you're on the podium. Yeah, well thank done. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye bye. Ah, one more thing. Yes, go ah, for it. Today is my brother's birthday okay yeah you want to say happy birthday to yeah, him yeah he's with me as a coach cool and i'm really happy that i can give a good present for him yeah awesome. happy birthday Zaha. <laughs> <laughs> awesome thanks very much well done bye-bye
<laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> that was really sweet. <laughs> Siniana looking in a, for a fight mode now. I think, I think the crowd are going to probably cheer on every single move that she does yes, here. Yes, yes. There are a lot of kids around here shouting from the very first the crowd, are, the crowd is shouting every time she clips. Every time she does a move. Yanya this year has been completely dominant in the lead. She has eight goals to her name already this year. Three in the bouldering, five in the lead. And one of those bouldering goals came in the middle of the lead season. Which is... I just don't <laughs> know what to say. I, re I was rethinking about this for too long, I think. I mean, you know, everybody's trying to find a recipe for success. <laughs> but I just haven't found any solution to the... Or I don't see what... What makes her so dominant and uh, so different, you know? She is special. And uh, it's cool, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what she makes of this banana. banana sequence. Definitely been challenging for everybody up until now. Still oh looks will go well. pretty Please comfortable again. and confidently through there. The crowd knows that this is an opportunity to go oh super God. high now on this route. Yang Kim I've just been speaking to holds the current leader point. Yanya shaking out in a place where people couldn't hold the hold. Her face was just ridiculous now in the streaming. <laughs> this truly <laughs> is a show for everybody around the world watching this. This is the Yanya Gambrot show. So Secured podium for her, currently on the second place. See how she ends up here. So a committing move about to come up here to jump out to the hole level with the next and final quick draw. And from there, two or three moves to the top. <laughs> Safely through that first committing move. This is where the bouldering begins. And the crowd is so loud. And it's so loud. We have headphones on because this is incredible. Imagine being up there. She's probably giving 200% now with all the support. Let's see. That's very, very familiar cut and chicken wing that Yanya does so well and holds. Chalking on the last and hold. One more move. Goes. As the oh, so, so close to topping out. But Yanya Gambra finally adds the Cran gold to her yeah. title. She reached her goal. <laughs> The lady of the moment, back to back, back to back World Cup wins. Nine gold medals this year. Yanya Ganbret. This will be the one that really means a lot to her. Standing on the top of that podium She'll in Cran. once more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, amazing scenes there, and Yanya Gambret adds the one thing that was missing from her chest of medals. So many things. I think she's going to need a new bedroom soon. 